I'm 6'3", 230. Um, I'm going to be playing with uh, Monster slash um, Nitro Circus slash, you know, we, we have tons of sponsors this year. Sunnies, Rax, um, Clutch. Got a great team lined up with Jay Mag and the rest of the guys. Yes, sir. Who should be yes, sir. I will join the Air Force right after high school. Thank you for your service. Thank you. I was in uh, aircraft maintenance working on C-130s. And uh, then I found softball within the military. Um, at that point, I uh, got picked up on a local team by playing with my military team in the Atlanta area. And then I literally started in E. I played D. I played C. Went from C to A. And then this year I'll be playing major. And what position do you play in the field? Are you a good fielder? So I'm going to be playing shortstop or middle. Shortstop? That's crazy not having a baseball background very yeah. much, you know, to come out like that. You right. Tell you you're a hell of an athlete. Your power just absolutely flabbergasted me today when I saw you today. And anyhow, uh, with the rec guys out here on the show, we're trying to break it down as simple as we can. And we say that 75% of a guy's focus, athlete's focus, ought to be on the lower half of the body, the winding and throwing open the hips. Talk about that. Tell me if you agree or disagree with that and how that so, relates to your swing. So I definitely agree with that. Um, I, I, in the offseason, I really work on my lower half, my core, my lower half, because I feel that's where a lot of your power comes from. It's um, You see a lot, of, a lot of the guys these days, Phil, Matt, uh, myself, it's a very it's a very torquey, a very violent swing, and uh, that's I think I generate a lot of my power from that. Do you do any specific drills or weight training or any kind of cross nothing, training nothing, for that? Nothing, nothing uh, specific during the off season. I typically lift a little heavier, uh, makes me a little tighter, a little, little bulk up a little bit, and then as the season as the season gets closer, I switch to more uh, high reps, lower weight. With your kind of explosiveness, how much can you uh, jam a basketball, grab the rim? I'm sure. Do you ever oh, try? Yeah. Uh, I don't play much basketball. I try to play a little flag football here and there. I do play a little indoor soccer. Here but, but, yeah, but any dude that walks to the gym tries to jab a basketball. Oh, yeah. Play that. And the yeah, I mean, point being, your legs are just explosive as hell, you know? Yep. Oh, yeah. And uh, But nothing nothing you do out of the ordinary. You're only 27 nope. years 27. old. So, yep. um, when it, so you take that power you've generated out of your lower body, and, and I equate it to kind of a baseball pitcher where you need to wind on the rear hip. You know, you need to create a wind as you're coming ahead of them. Right, throw. correct. Do you, think, do you feel like that's a similar motion to a baseball pitcher? It hundred percent is in softball. Yeah. So in baseball, you're more you're you're more uh, you're, you're here, you're here, and you're quick through the ball. Keep the hands in. Everything's here. In softball, you generate a lot more power. I I gear up, hands hands arms. Everything is locked out, extended. When I'm making connection with the ball, my arms are basically locked, locked completely out. And when I make contact, my arms, my wrist, everything flips over, and I'm through the zone. Do you focus more on the front hand throwing like a karate chop, or do you focus on the top hand more, or both equal? So, so I would feel like it's more equal. Um, a lot of the power comes from the wrist, and as soon as you make contact, it's a, a flip. It's basically just flipping the hands over and going through the zone. Now that, like I was talking about earlier with the uh, with the lower half, the core, everything is, is in one fluid motion. And you come out here, you'll see a lot of guys, they'll come here, they stop, and then they go through. It has to be one fluid motion, just completely through. Everything twists together. Basically, what I keep in mind is I'm, I'm here, and then everything is exploding, and the ball is probably like an arm's length away. So I would say maybe here, and I'm here, 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 and then I explode out like this. So all of my weight, everything shifts forward. So as soon as I make contact with that, my weight's forward, arms are locked out, and as soon as I, as soon as the ball hits the barrel, it's flipping over. So you take your leg, you take that rotational force of the hips and transfer that for in your mind anyway into a more linear force. Correct. But then you know, when you watch it, your rotation's tighter than hell. So you know what your perception is and what you do to get to that point is right. sometimes different. But yeah. Anything else you want to add? You got to go over and get your pitcher taken. So uh, I don't think I have anything right now. Just swing slugger. Well, and uh, you know the one thing too on the tempo, easy on the tempo like a baseball pitcher, and then yep. bring it up right as a foot set. Exactly. Right? Everything is calm. Hands are loose. You're not tight. Hands are loose. You're through here. And then it's explosion. Same zone right here.